can you say something to answer? I can say anything you want me to say. Okay, great. So, just first tell me your name and your title. Okay. My name is George Frankel. I am the CEO of the Genesis Reef Project that does business as Eternal Reefs. Okay, just look at it. And um, what's happening here? Today we have an Eternal Reefs casting project. This is the day that the families come and they participate in making their loved one's memorial reef. They get to mix the concrete with their loved one's remains in it. And then after they're done doing the concrete, we put fresh concrete on the top of each reef and each family gets to personalize that reef the way they would like to. And frequently they'll bring mementos, maybe military honors or uh, coins from countries they travel to. And frequently when you look at the top of the reef after the family has gotten done, you can tell who that person was in real life. And the entire process is designed to give the family involvement and let them participate, let them actually do something with regards to their loved one's memorial. So families go home and they don't talk about we went to Florida and buried grandma. They say, you would not believe what we just did down in Florida. They take ownership of these reefs. They're really proud of the contribution that they're making. And when they see the life and growth that develops on these reefs, it's absolutely rewarding in every sense of the word. So tell me, you mentioned the contribution of these reefs. What is the contribution? The contribution is multi. And that is, first off, they provide new habitat for fish and other sea life. The second thing is they're an environmental contribution to the ocean and to the marine environment. It's also an economic benefit to the local community. For example, we've got probably 80 people here today, or will have, and I would tell you that at least two-thirds of them are from out of the state. And these families, once they've done this process, they take ownership and they will come back, not every year, but they come back to see how Grandma's been doing for the last couple of years. These reefs, depending upon the site that we're working on, because we do work everywhere from Long Island Sound to Galveston, Texas. The site here in Florida, in uh, Sarasota, is a mile and a half offshore. Some of them are a little bit more offshore, some of them are three miles off. The reefs here are in 35 feet of water. We generally try to stay within recreational diving limits, but we also want to be deep enough where storm energy really doesn't have a chance to build up. Because we use reef balls, Reef balls are the only material that were designed from day one to replicate the bottom of the ocean. And so they're round, they're hollow, and they're vented, which means there's very little opportunity for storm energy to build up on them. And I'm not going to tell you Mother Nature can't do something. I will tell you that if she moves some of these reef balls around, you probably have much bigger problems on land to deal with than you do in the ocean. A lot of parents will tell us when they bring small children, that this was the best way they could have envisioned about educating their child on a loss. There's no dark room, everybody talking in whispers. There's no hole in the ground, which everybody envisions. They say, this is an arts and crafts project, and it really is just that for the kids. And that's a great introduction if they have to be introduced. Thank you so much, I appreciate it.